Welcome back to Trading 360. It's time for the 360 round. Ready to bring in our panel to talk all about DocuSign ahead of the company's earnings. Ben Silverman's with us, Director of Research at Verity Data. And Melissa Armo, founder owner of the Stock Swoosh. Thank you both for being with us. So we know this name is hovering around the 52-week lows and beaten down. Um, Melissa, I'll start with you. Your thoughts? Well, I mean, it's really good. It's been down for quite some time now after the crisis. In 2020, then it fell off in 2021 and 2022. So I imagine that this is going to have, quite frankly, another move down to the downside. Ben, your thoughts? I mean, you're looking at insider buying activity. What do you think is happening here? Well, you know, with the CEO change earlier this year and uh, new CEO Alan Tegason coming over from Alphabet, I think that's sort of the focus. You know, I agree with Melissa. I think there's a potential for another leg down here. Uh, if we look at Adobe and their document cloud results, you know, there's certainly some weakness in the space. So I think this is more, you know, this this quarter, it could have a little ugliness to it. And it's really about looking forward to what new management's going to do. Right. So tell me more, Ben. What do you think? Um, what's on your mind when it comes to all this? You talked about new management. Give me some more details. So, the, you know, uh, basically the uh, old CEO, Dan Springer, was was essentially pushed out by the board. And they brought in Alan Tegenson, who was a uh, executive at Alphabet. And, you know, they're paying him a lot of money. Uh, they gave him a $20 million uh, uh, stock sign-on bonus. Uh, he can earn up to $60 million in additional uh, stock-based compensation over the next several years. So they're really, you know, they really uh, are paying up, you know, for talent here to uh, run the company. There's just been a lot of management change in, in general. Their chief revenue officer is supposed to leave the company uh, within the next couple of months. They haven't found a replacement uh, there yet. They talked on the uh, earnings last time about some issues in their customer success, um, you know, division, which is, you know, what uh, is, you know, how you generate ARR. And, you know, they did bring in someone new there. So, you know, there's been a lot of management turnover here. So, you know, it's, this call is going to be, you know, earnings call today is going to be very interesting to see what they can articulate. Right. And um, Melissa, you know, it's around $43. Where do you think DocuSign is headed? It just hit a 52-week low recently. Melissa, just wanted to ask you where you think the stock is headed. It's around $43, hit a 52-week low of $39.57. Um, where do you think it's headed? Well, I think the stock could fall at least another 10 20%. Remember, the market right now has been selling off. So while you have some stocks that are attempting to rally, this is, this is one of the ones where if you have the market continuing to fall, this is going to move actually ahead of the market. So if you had a bullish market, if we were in a very strong market, you might have this stock lift. But if the market continues to fall, stocks like this and other pandemic stocks that have fallen in the last 12 to 24 months, they're going to continue to move again ahead of the market where they're falling further. So I think this is lower. I think the market's lower. I think a lot of the pandemic stocks are lower. So it's a good time if you know how to short. And obviously, if people have accounts at Ameritrade, they can short. Or you can do puts, which is an option, which is basically a short. You had some thoughts, Melissa, on Peloton. Um, tell me a little bit about that. And then Zoom. <laughs> Peloton and Zoom are part of the pandemic group, and these stocks have really taken a tumble. Again, even though the market's been falling, these stocks have been falling even before we tumbled at the beginning of 2022. So Zoom is something that has a, still a lot of downside to go. Peloton is trying to rally, but I don't think it holds on to it either. Again, we're getting into the end of the calendar year, so the next earnings out for many, many of these stocks is going to be first quarter of 2023, and that's a long, long way away from many of these companies. Even though it's a holiday season, you would think, you know, Peloton should be getting this huge rally. They got into those hotels, but the stock really has not been able to get anywhere near the highs that it was back in 2020. It was almost like that was the last time the stock's ever going to be at near any of those numbers. Same thing with Zoom. And Zoom is being used by people. I mean, Zoom is out there. People pay for Zoom. I use Zoom. But the fact is that that's nowhere near the highs either. These are good stocks, in my opinion, to watch for rallies to possibly short into. Right. Okay. Oh, you really? You short it. Ben, uh, final thoughts here. What metrics are you going to be watching for on DocuSign today? I know Alan Tegenson now, you know, in the role here. What are you going to be watching for? 
they're going to be looking at operating expenses. They were increasing last quarter. You know, there, there's a for EPS is supposed to drop about 30 percent, but revenue is supposed to be up about 15 percent year over year. So you're going to look, you know, how they're keeping their OPEX in line. You know, they did uh, announce some layoffs recently. So they're trying to right size the organization a little bit. Um, you know, and, and, you know, and again, we're going to look to see if new management's come, been able to come in, you know, and make some quick changes. Also, they did have a, uh, they do have a small buyback authorization, and it'll be interesting to see if they turn that on and, uh, and, and try to, uh, you know, repatriate some shares at a good price last quarter. Great to see you both. Ben Silverman, Melissa Armo, a great look at DocuSign and some of the other pandemic names. I'm Nicole Petalides. That's going to do it for Trading 360. I will see you at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Join me then for the watch list.